working on an unfinished Victoria steamboat part 4. Dismantling the boiler assembly to look at the general condition. Retapping the gas jet holder to accept a standard gas jet thread and selecting the correct size of gas jet for this burner. Before doing that, just out of interest, I would like to show you a Cheddar Models Puffin that I have, which is on the left, and compare it with the Cheddar Models Puffin engine, the Mark I, which is fitted to this boat. They are both Cheddar Puffin models, but the construction of them is quite different. This is my Cheddar Puffin engine running on compressed air. It runs very well in both directions. And now it's time for a direct comparison between the Mark II and the Mark I. This is the Mark I and the first thing that you notice that's different is the displacement lubricator. The Mark I has the drain tap on the bottom and besides that it's entirely different to the Mark II. Have a close look. If I'm honest I think I prefer the design of the Mark I, it just seems to look better. On with the job, I've removed the gas burner assembly from the boiler and I'm cleaning up the bottom part of the fire tubes. There was a white residue around the bottom part of these tubes which initially was cause for concern but I figured out what was causing it. The first steam that contacts the cold engine condenses to water. This goes up the pipe, down the chimney and that's what causes the white residue around the tubes. But the overall construction and condition is good. It looks like the firebox area of the boiler has had a couple of coats of paint and that's probably due to excess heat from this component which has burnt off the original paint. Speaking to Jerry at a company called Cleveland Steam he explained that these early model regulators were problematic and in fact this one doesn't work. We had a discussion about jet sizes and Jerry said that I should use a number 8 jet for this plant. This clip shows the Cleveden Steam Emergency Gas Cutoff Valve, an essential part of any miniature steamboat. The worst case scenario being if the boiler runs out of water, not only will it be damaged, the outer cladding will turn to black, and even worse, the ABS plastic hull could melt. There is a relationship on these miniature steam plants between the size of the gas tank and the size of the boiler. I found by using these Cheddar Model steam plants that you get about 20 to 25 minutes of steam time. But that is down to one or two factors and the obvious factor is the size of the gas jet. This is my box of gas jets of various sizes for various applications. The smallest one it contains is a number 5 which I find very small and the largest one it contains is a number 16 which is a bit on the big side. I'm going to use a number 8 and here it is in my hand. This is apparently the jet size that is supposed to be used in this particular steam plant. Unfortunately, none of my standard gas jets will fit in this non-standard gas jet holder. And what I'm doing currently is dismantling the gas jet holder to re-thread it. The thread of a commercial gas jet, the ones that I use most of the time, is 1BA. And here I'm re-threading this particular gas jet, 1BA, using a 1BA tap. Once that was done, I screwed in the gas jet, made sure that the emergency cutoff valve was actually open, then using a mini blow torch, I lit the gas burner. This Cheddar Models boiler is a fire tube boiler with a sensible burner underneath it. Some other Cheddar Models plants that I've owned in the past use a ceramic burner in a water tube boiler. A few years ago when I was into building steamboats I would use a gas canister very similar to this in the boat itself. I would spray the gas canisters black so they didn't look too bad against the rest of the parts in the boat. I didn't like the idea of the small refillable tanks. Here is a really serious health and safety warning. Do not fill these tanks when they're in the boat. And also never fill them indoors like I'm doing here. Never ever do that. This, by the way, is a faulty filler adapter. I've just bought a couple of new ones from Cleveland Steam. When you first light these burners with a number 8 gas jet, they don't look particularly hot. But as the thing warms up and starts to glow red, the heat increases. I'm going to make a special video feature very shortly, all about gas firing miniature steam boilers. The big problem is, as the gas evaporates inside the tank, whether it be a canister or a small tank like this, the gas chills and the pressure drops. And that is why there is a relationship between the size of gas tank and the size of gas jet. 
In this clip you can see that the gas tank is wet. That's due to the condensation on the outside of the tank as it chilled when I was testing this burner using a number 8 gas jet. A full tank still lasted for quite a while, but now as an experiment I'm changing the size of gas jet from a number 8 to a number 16. I open the gas shutoff valve and then open the tank valve. Then I light the burner. You can hear immediately how different it is and you can see how different it is. This is really a bit of an inferno and far too powerful for such a small boiler. The gas tank chills very quickly and now it's very cold to the touch. Soon it will be covered in ice. Even though the pressure will drop and the burner won't be quite as fierce, this situation is not good at all. I turned off the burner and warmed up the tank using my hands. And exactly the same thing happened, but not for long because the tank was empty. I tried turning down the pressure using the tap on the tank, but it was still too much. I'm going to fit a number 8 as recommended by Jerry at Cleveland Steam. I refitted the Piezo electric igniter. These are worse than useless. A spark occurs two out of three times as a rule, but it doesn't light the gas. I'm going to leave it in situ because it's part of the original plant. But I do recommend using a naked flame at the top of the chimney to light the burner. And that's it for this one. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.